Bulk is a pre-Christian festival that marks the midpoint between the winter solstice and the spring equinox. It signifies the end of winter and the anticipation of the rebirth of nature in the coming spring. Today, in bulk, like other festivals throughout the year that highlight the changing of seasons or celestial events, is celebrated by Wiccans and other practitioners of neo-pagan or pagan-influenced religions. In bulk is referenced in Irish literature, going back to the 10th century. It's typically celebrated from sundown on February 1st through sundown on February 2nd. The festival has ancient Celtic origins and is part of the agricultural and seasonal cycles celebrated by Celtic peoples. The word imbolc is believed to have come from an old Irish term meaning ewes milk. It reflects the time of year when ewes begin to lactate, indicating the approaching birth of lambs in the spring. A central figure in imbolc from Celtic mythology is Bridget, a prominent goddess with a multifaceted and revered presence. She is associated with various aspects of life, including fire, water, poetry, healing, fertility, smithcraft, and childbirth. Bridget is a triple deity, often depicted as three sisters who share the same name but different attributes. Considered one of the most powerful Celtic deities, Bridget was the daughter of the Dagda, who was a prominent and powerful figure in Celtic mythology, particularly in Irish mythology. He is often depicted as a father god, a chief of the Tuath de Danann, a supernatural race in Irish mythology. The name Dagda translates to the good god or the great god, and he is considered one of their most powerful and benevolent figures. Bridget's strong association with the element of fire symbolizes its transformative and purifying qualities. As a fire goddess, she is associated with the hearth, home, and the creative spark of inspiration. Some myths claim Bridget was born with a flame in her head. Bridget's connectivity to water is associated with sacred wells and springs believed to have medicinal properties. Even today, people journey to these wells in the hope of receiving healing and protection. Bridget is also a goddess of poetry, and she was celebrated by poets whose duties were, in part, comprised of being the keepers of history, genealogy, and stories surrounding the rolling glass in Ireland. Bridget's association with smithcraft and metalworking emphasizes her connection to craftsmanship, forging, and the transformation of materials. Bridget is also credited with establishing the first keening, which is a ritual practice to funerals in different parts of the world, and especially in Ireland and Scotland. Keening is a poetic lament performed in the presence of the deceased. It was a vocal expression of sorrow and grief in the form of a melodic wailing or crying. This practice was essential to ensure the deceased were able to successfully journey to the other world. By the 17th century, the ritual of keening was heavily suppressed by the Roman Catholic Church, and it mostly died out by the middle of the 20th century. In bulk is considered a time to honor and invoke Bridget's blessings. The festival is designed to welcome the first signs of spring and the increasing daylight. Traditionally, people engaged in rituals, lighting candles or bonfires, and making offerings to Bridget. In bulk is also a time for cleaning and preparing for the agricultural activities of the coming spring. The Celts made a doll of wheat or straw, put it in a dress, and placed it in a bed of flowers in a basket. In modern times, some pagan traditions involve setting up an altar with different symbols of Bridget, such as a corn husk doll, white flowers, and candles to mention a few. Others may focus more on the changing of the season. The worship of Bridget extended beyond Celtic mythology and persisted through the Christianization of Ireland. The Christian tradition, St. Bridget, is often considered synonymous with the pagan goddess, blending Celtic pagan elements with Christian beliefs. In Ireland, St. Bridget is one of the three patron saints, along with St. Columba and St. Patrick, and the Catholic Church claims they have accounts of her life dating back to the 8th century, as written by monks during that time. Between pagan and Christian worship, there's a lot of commonalities between Bridget and St. Bridget. One notable symbol associated with St. Bridget was a cross, known as Bridget's Cross or St. Bridget's Cross. It was typically made of rushes or straw, commonly into a four- and occasionally three-armed cross. Some traditions have the cross hanging over doors, windows, and stables for protection. St. Bridget is associated with fire, just like the pagan goddess. It's said St. Bridget was born around 453 AD and died in 524 AD. Some Portuguese churches claim to possess the remains of her skull and hands. There are many stories about how St. Bridget was known for her charity work, as well as her healing powers. At an early age, she was associated with St. Patrick, and his preaching set her on a path to become Ireland's first nun. Never varying, she established and lived in a monastery in Kildare, which was believed to have been the site of a shrine to the goddess Bridget. According to legend, in the 12th century, a group of nuns in Kildare tended to a fire that had been burning for 500 years, which was said to honor St. Bridget. The fire produced no ash, and no men were allowed in the vicinity 
or so the story goes. February 1st was established by the church as a feast day to celebrate St. Pritchett. Records of this feast are documented by a monk in Kildare dating back to the 7th century. The night before, Bridget was said to visit virtuous households and bless those who lived there. Officially, this day was celebrated by the Catholic Church, well, at least for a few hundred years. In the 11th century, it seemed the Church's opinion of St. Bridget no longer fit the model of a female saint. She was said to have both men and women at her monastery in Kildare. Not that this was necessarily scandalous. The problem was, it depicted Bridget at the top, placing her over both men and women. Some of the miracles she is said to have performed seem to serve some controversy at the time as well, such as those involving animals like pigs. In 1969, St. Bridget was removed from the universal calendar by the Vatican, and her feast day was revoked, along with a few dozen other saints. Like this guy, who led to this guy. Good enough to bring gifts, but not quite good enough to qualify as a saint. Today, Bridget is still honored and celebrated in various forms during in bulk with modern pagan, Wiccan, and Celtic-inspired spiritual practices, and some Christians still celebrate St. Bridget's Day on February 1st.